Welcome back to the Existential Way. Today we're talking about faith, the substance of things hoped for, and its relation to what is plausible in the eternal and what is deniable in the physical. And we're going to get to this hypothetical reality and even this hypothetical illusion and separate the two from these verses. Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. Now I'm going to read this and we're going to start off by getting into the eternal, the here and now. And we're going to understand by the end of this discussion the difference between the here and now of the eternal and the time-space continuum of the physical, of this dimension. All right, Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For, for by it the men of old obtained a good report. By faith we understand that the universe was framed by the word of God, so that things that are seen were not made out of things which are visible. We're talking about a spiritual war here, guys. We're talking about gang stalking of God's chosen T.I.s and how the war going on against us in respect, these scriptures, all of them, a lot of them, are being inversed by Satan. And I've heard some podcasters talk about this because this is really true, this idea of Satan inversing scriptures and setting up his kingdom against the ultimate truth, the truth of the eternal, the truth of God's witness, and the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, and the persecution of those who were chosen by Christ, or God unto his Son Christ. Um, as we know, Christ says, they hate you, they hate you because uh, they hated me first. Very true. Now, we're talking about this idea of the things that are seen were not made out of things which are visible. Okay, we're talking about your faith, my faith, which is the substance of things hoped for. But this faith was created by things that was created by uh, the things which are invisible or unseen, not made by things which are visible. Okay, so this the plausibility of our faith is the hope of the here and now. Now, ultimately, when we get to this level, we get we reach this eternal um, existence. The fruition, therefore, of the spirit is very witnessable. It's not always visible in the physical. There's much plausibility to our faith. And usually like faith, um, I'm going to give an example of the physical because it's sometimes hard to relate to someone who's of the world trying to make sense of this. Now, say for example, we have a, a conspiracy theorist who, he posits an idea and, and, and you know, he's called crazy. He or she is called crazy. Um, you know, mocked, scoffed at, um, ridiculed, cast out, you know. And so, the idea of the, you know, since the idea is seen from an eternal perspective, about making, making positing ideas about what's happening in this world and the agenda thereof, he or she will be mocked, you will be laughed at, because these are ideas that essentially start in the spirit. They start in the unseen, the invisible. And they're posited in a way, this idea is posited in a way in which it manifests as an event in, in the physical. So we, we, we look back after time, after the events have happened, after they've manifested, this idea has come to pass. We no longer can laugh at the person who has initiated or conceived the idea. You know, because this thing was created in the invisible, the unseen. But it, now it's been it's been it's been made visible because it's manifested in the physical, you know. So we've come to this point in history in this time space continuum which we no longer can deny with any plausibility that the event of of the manifestation there has, has come about, and and these things have come to pass, and we're at this time now where the first phase of conspiracy and conspiracy theory has ultimately come true. So it, it can no longer be seen as conspiracy anymore. It's actual reality that has been 
um, honest, honestly and truthfully been made witness to those who have seen with their own eyes in the physical from the eternal the thing which has been posited from its inception, an idea which has become an event, a manifestation of the physical, come to pass, and now it's reality, it's truth in the physical. But to understand what is plausible and what, it's, and what the effect of this world wants to do with what is plausible is deniability. You know, this is a choice made before, this is a choice, a choice made by the physical before any eternal plausibility is conceived or the inception thereof has been posited with this idea and it, and it has come to pass as an event. So the setup here is that Satan has inversed this idea of turning the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, against us as well, but in a much inverse manner, the, uh, a manner in which has been conceived physically from the inception of, of a setup. It's they're, 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 They have already chosen because they have uh, blindly manifested these things into the physical, which was part of their agenda as well. Um, they've taken it up to a point where they know these things are going to come to pass, but they've blindly chosen to um, be blind of seeing the events witnessed for themselves in this eternal way. And so we can no longer call those who have conceived the, these ideas um, of events which have come to pass as, as with any form of actual physical deniability. The only reason that they're actually being denied is the fact that it's by choice uh, uh, of that which is being conceived from the physical. Now, with those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, we understand that the one who posited the idea truly has conceived of it from the eternal, the, that from a place where we, where the physical cannot see into, you know, although, you know, like the scriptures say, God is going to use, ultimately, the physical for his gain, even if they've chosen, and, or he's, he's, even if he's put it, the, the blinders on them to not see the totality and the interplay between the two, um, nonetheless, the idea was still going to come to pass, Okay, so much to the tune of our faith being the substance of things hoped for, we shouldn't expect, according to scriptures, for the thing, the event itself, to manifest in our lives purely in the physical. You know, and even so, before that, um, when we're talking about spiritual fruit, um, the inception stems from the, the eternal. And the eternal, once again, um, gets all the glory and all the gain from your life, if you're chosen. And so don't expect what has been conceived by the eternal to be a manifestation of the physical. See, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to say, we, the, what is plausible is our faith. Because we posit that um, faith is the substance of things hoped for, hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Because our faith does not come from physical inception or conception even. Our faith remains unseen. The, the true spiritual fruit returns, as it says, the evidence of things not seen. So the world has to see. See, this is why Jesus didn't want to give miracles and signs and wonders. Because the world can still only understand them purely in a physical sense. Where you and I whether the signs and miracles and the things that, that is allowed to see, especially when it comes to the end times, even these signs and wonders, these earthquakes, these natural catastrophes, um, you know, man builds such things in a way where he, he you know, if you, if you want to build, you know, your housing construct at the bottom of the Hoover Dam, you're a fool. Because you think, oh, we've set up the dam, we've constructed the, the worldly foundation accordingly that... We did it so we believe that it's, gonna, it's truly going to support us. But what you don't believe is you might have, the whole dam itself might be built on a, on a shifting continental uh, a fault line or, or, or a part of the plate which, is, which exists according to God's tune, God's existence. So if that plate shifts, what good is the, the dam in, in, in being reinforced by man's hand if the whole plate shifts because the plate belongs to God? 
Do you see where I'm getting at is God oversees these things to blind those who are ignorant and those who are, uh, who are purposely blinding the, themselves to events that, they, uh, that are set up by their hand. Um, are ultimately going to come to pass and return back to the foundation of, of sinking sand by those of the, the hands that, that men have built. And those have, which have been built eternally, the foundation, which is actually more solid in the eternal state, will exist forever. So don't expect uh, the fruition of your faith to come physically before it comes eternally in, in, in the things of the Spirit. You know, and they don't always have to. The world's not going to see or not understand what uh, spiritual fruition means anyways. So you can see the inverse of these scriptures coming about. Now, to them, the only gain they have is seeing that these things are coming together in the physical, but ultimately it will be to their own destruction. They can only see from one side of the coin. It will be their undoing. For us, ultimately, it will, it will be all the glory and gain through us will, will go back to the eternal towards God's gain and God's glory and the honor of Him and worship and the true sustaining things of the things of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. So let me read this once again. Let's, and you just apply this um, great spiritual existential measure to what it is that makes up the true foundation for your faith. Okay, Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the men of old obtained a good report. By faith we understand that the universe was framed by the word of God, so that the things that were seen were not made out of the things which are visible. The things are, which are visible are man's hand, man's doing. But uh, the, things that are, the things that are seen we're not made out of the things which are visible. See, we see from an eternal perspective, an eternal place. And um, let's go right back to it. The things which are... So the, he's saying the things that are seen were not made out of the things which are visible. Okay? This is talking about the space-time space continuum. You know, okay, so we're talking about how much expectation are we putting in the hope of our faith? Our faith is the here and now. You know, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, our faith is plausible. And so we're laughed at because, and, and it's denied against us because it doesn't always come into the things which are visible, you know, or made out of the things which are visible. The things which are made out of the... The things which are made out of the the, the things which are visible um, are denied because that form of thinking comes from the physical. But we have an understanding that the things which stem from the physical exist for the gain of the physical. And the things which are conceived of the eternal ultimately return to the things which are of eternal. The gain is, is returned to the things of, that are of eternal. So plausible deniability in and of itself is is const the construct of it according to the eternal is vastly different from the from its construct uh, an understanding and definition of uh, stemming from the things that are physical you know like plausible deniability is what what truly is plausible to the physical is the events that come to pass that they create in their own hands you know but the things that are plausible to us um, they come to fruition in the spirit and give, gain, give gain, um, glory and gain to the eternal right back to the eternal so the construct of it is very different you and I, we exist in faith the substance of things hoped for yet not seen are purely of the here and now the presence, the life here and now against those measures of the space, space time continuum of the visible so, I've been thinking the past couple days is, you know what I have dis disdain for? When I talk about the world, when we mean the world, we're so run, the saints are worn out, we're so tired. And this is one thing I've noticed about myself. When I mean I'm so tired of this world, I'm so tired of, uh, of, of having my flesh 
deal with the space-time continuum, which is the, the substance, the, the consistency of this dimension, this world. What I, what I strive for is the things of the Spirit, faith which is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, what is not seen is this present Spirit. That's my hope. That's, that is what I long for. It's like, and, and that, that's why I've been thinking about it over this Christmas holiday season. Is It, it wears me out because I feel obliged to this, uh, uh, of having to be obligated to this space-time continuum of it. That's wearing me out. Feeling obligated to be to engage in it when I know it's of the space-time continuum. And I am I do not desire the space-time continuum anymore. It's wearing the hell out of me out, you know? So that's why having to be obligated or obligating yourself to engage the space-time continuum in this false physical manner, it's going to wear you out. I am purely now of the things of the of faith, of the things, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And see, this Christmas season, this holiday season, is is the is the evidence of the of the, of the things of the visible, of the events that come to pass, even at a even at a. a uh, a rate that that is so it, it these things come to pass but they're being played along the space time continuum oh i have to do it and for me my understanding is there's such a legalistic manner it's draining me of my my presence of wanting to be of the faith the here and now and, and being of the of the cycle of as i'm of the here and now it, it's a constant give and take between god and myself in the presence of giving and taking in this spiritual unseen manner, in this in this constant uh, giving of God's uh, uh, invisible way, and returning to Him through me back to the eternal, back to the invisible way, and I don't want to be moved from that anymore. I want to be a spirit of the eternal, the presence now, the substance, um, the hope is the living, the existing substance now, um, the evidence of things not seen now the here and now okay verse 3 again that the half the, the the second half of verse 3 so that the things that are seen were not made out of the things which are visible so your faith now the substance now is because you you're so drained from it because the things which are visible the events the inception of those things which are physical are draining you from the here and now the space time obligational engagements that we have that still even at a low level like celebrating holidays even from the the fake plots that are set up by our government and and, and you know in secrecy all the way down to f having to celebrate things of the space con time continuum are constantly draining me from the here and now i want to be of the the substance the faith of of the substance of things not seen that's my hope and it's all, you see how it's cyclical within and of itself. It's self-supportive. Unfortunately, you and I, we're still in the flesh. We still have to, some, sometimes we have to obligate ourselves to be engaged to the space-time continuum. And, and the, offense is, the offense is that the space-time continuum is offensed by the here and now, the substance of things not seen the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Because the space-time continuum exists in its, in its own one-sided way to only things of the visible, where the here and now only exists to the things of the invisible, the unseen. And so their, their, mod, their modus operandi, operandi are, 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 are incapable of coexistence with each other. That's why these these two kingdoms, essentially these two dimensions, are 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 not only butting up against each other, are not are not only grinding each other to a pulp right now. They're overlapping each other. Where the the shift, the energetic shift that's going on is is making people either more here and now, 
or they're making people more space-time continuum oriented and, and the offense is taken thereof. And even to the point where I'm just, it's so hard for me to love the space-time continuum at this point because I'm so desirous of the here and now, the substance of things not seen, you know? And so I hope you guys are able to understand what is plausible for us needs not evidence of the things of the visible. The deniability thereof by the visible means nothing to our faith because what is plausible of our faith, the hope of the hope of this, the, the faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, needs not the approval of the visible, the things seen, the things of the space-time continuum. And vice versa. It's like preaching, our, preaching an eternal inception to the things which stem purely from the physical, um, it, the deniability of it, does, it makes incoherent nonsense in a way to prove the things that are plausible, which can only be understood deniability-wise, you know, is, is purely nonsense. It's absurdity. But that's the reason our faith... See, our faith is the absurdity to the world. It's the here and now, which is in which this, the, the total offense has been taken by the space-time continuum against you. It, it, it's, it's absurd. The, one, one thing is absurd to, to the other, you know. And when, when people try to go and try to bring the complex nature of trying to make sense of the world in a way that the world cannot rationalize or understand, it's not going to make sense to the world because it, the world only conceives of its own things through visible man-made efforts and hands. So our things purely come through the, the, the like like said, the back half of, of, of the second half of verse 3, so that the things are, let me read the whole thing. Verse 3, by faith we understand that the universe was framed by the word of God, the here and now, so, so that the things that are seen were not made out of things which are visible. You know, the space-time continuum. It, don't, it doesn't go together, guys. But I want you to get great gain from this because that which is of the world is for the world and that which is of God is for God, period, period. So there's the, the constant... The, the gap is growing wider and the, and, the, and the contending for the faith is growing wider in respect to what is truly plausible and what is truly deniable, as well as what is truly, you know, plausibly deniable, denied, you know, uh, against those things which can, can only be, which are, are truly uh, bliss, those who exist in blissful ignorance to keep the, the, the visibility of man's efforts going in this agenda. That's where, that's, that's all, you know. It's, it's one or the other, you know. It's black or white, it's yes or no, you know. And deeper we go down the rabbit hole, you know, if we choose to. Or deeper we go into the truth of eternal reality, if we choose to, you know. So we see from the place of, of eternal witness... You know, the things that are visible. Um, and that's it. What, so we can't, re we can't truly get on to them for truly deciding to be blissfully ignorant of the things that they want to come about, the events that they want to come about with any form of true deniability in their part because um, what makes up the space-time continuum is the, is the fact that um, plausible deniability is the rule of the day. The powers that be in this dimension have chosen that plausible, plausible deniability um, will always overcome things which are truly plausible, you know, and things that are truly plausible only stem from the eternal, your, your witness thereof. And, and that's how I've observed things, you know, in that way. So until the next one, guys, go to the existential way, Godspeed. I hope you make some sense of this. Go to Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 11, 1 through 3 and apply it for yourself. All right, guys, till the next one. I love you guys.